So today I wanted to show you guys seven kind of iPhone tips that I use on my iPhone on a regular basis. They're not, some of them are kind of well known and some of them you might never heard before, but definitely um, these saved me a lot of time in using my iPhone, so hopefully you guys find these helpful as well. So the first tip is for sending photos in messages for iOS. Now a lot of people, they go into messages and then they tap this and then you have to come to the decision, well do I want to pull something out of the photo library or do I want to take a photo now? Click take a photo. You go into the camera and, and you know it takes some time. Also, when you pull that up, you have to make the decision like, okay, well, which one's which? And it always takes me a second, so it's kind of annoying. Um, if I just want to send somebody a quick photo picture, uh, all you have to do is you hold this down, and then this toggle pops up, and then you slide your finger up on the shutter, and then you just kind of take whatever picture you want. As soon as you let go, it will automatically just send that photo right away. So it's a lot faster, you know. So just make sure the picture you're sending is the one you want to send. Um, otherwise, you can't cancel if you. Say you're going up here and you're like, oh, never mind, I don't want to send it. You can just drag your thumb back down to the X button and it will cancel it down. Now, the second tip I wanted to show you guys is regarding uh, the reachability. Everybody obviously knows how to do reachability. You double tap the home button and it brings down the screen. Now, my, my issue with uh, reachability is the double taps don't always register for me. Like, for example, right there, it didn't register. But um, what I do is when I'm using my phone with one hand, instead of just double tapping and hoping that it registers, I just tap it a million times until it does. So in other words, like let's say if I'm in Spotify and I want to bring the screen down, I just double tap a bunch of times till I see it, the animation go down, then I know it's ready to go. So I find it allows me to fly through my phone a lot faster, especially when I'm using it kind of like with one hand. So hopefully you guys can take advantage of that too. Um, but that's my second tip. Uh, another photo tip is um, in regard to the panorama mode. So obviously you guys probably are familiar with the mode where you slide across and it takes the camera picture like that or you have to hit the button and then you just kind of follow it across. A lot of people don't know is actually if you if you tap the button or tap the arrow button it switches so you can kind of scroll the other way if you like to go um, that way in your panoramic. So that's a pretty useful tip in case you didn't know that I actually didn't realize that until the other day when I wanted to go from right to left. Anyway that kind of works pretty good. The next tip I wanted to mention is in, in Safari sometimes when you go to web websites you're given their mobile um, version of their website which isn't always useful sometimes if you're just going to the website and you want to look you, you know where something specifically located on the normal desktop site you just want to use their desktop site real quick and um, you know m most mobile sites like this one Ars Technica have a link somewhere on there that lets you get to their desktop site um, you know sometimes it's at the bottom in Ars Technica's case it's in this menu and then down here in the view full site so if you didn't know that you'd be hunting around forever being annoyed one way you can really do that is when you're next time you're at a mobile site and you want the regular desktop site all you do is you tap the URL and then pull down the page and you'll have re the request desktop site here in Safari so that always will just give you the, the full desktop version which um, should help you you know kind of navigate quicker if that's what you're used to the next tip I wanted to show you is having to do with messages. Um, in previous messages, the timestamps were always shown. If you didn't know, this is probably the most um, maybe obvious one of my seven tips. But you know, all you have to do is tap and drag, and it gives you the timestamps of when all the texts were sent. So that can be uh, really helpful. And then the next tip involves uh, the camera. Actually, you know, when you're taking photos, it's you, I don't know why, but people always want to just take multiple take a photo and then uh, if it didn't come out good then have everybody keep standing there and take another one. I don't know why everybody does that. To me if you want to take a photo you just hold down this photo button it will just kind of take and you can get all the angles you want you can tell people to re-smile this and that and just take a bunch of pictures and then you have pretty much every angle and every probably possible scenario you want it from that. Now you might think well that's a pain in the butt you're going to have all those pictures constantly in your uh, photo library but it doesn't actually show there it just shows one photo and it shows um, that it was a burst so I'll just show you what it mean. So if you go into the camera roll you can see here um, it will just mention that it's a burst photo and then you can go in here and select the favorite one. Very very easy. A lot of people don't use this feature but um, it's really nice. So you just find the ones you want and boom click done and it will tell you keep everything or keep only that one that you favorited you know so I find that just a lot a lot better than um, having to take individual photos so you pretty much guaranteed to capture like a really good photo out of the 20, 30, 40 or however many you take so um, it's real easy to just scrap the ones that look crappy hopefully you guys use that tip because I use that a lot when taking photos now the final tip I wanted to show you is related to the battery percentage um, you know usually you just have the default icon I find it a lot more uh, useful to have the battery percentage meter showing. So if you just go into settings and then you go into general and then usage and then there's the battery percentage toggle uh, switch right there. So that's pretty easy. Just turn off and on as you like. 
Um, you can also view battery usage information here as well as what apps kind of use batteries. I don't really use that but that's just a side bonus. So that's kind of it guys. I just wanted to show some tips that I use um, kind of daily on my phone and I uh, found them to make my experience on the phone a lot better. So, But anyway, if you guys enjoyed the videos, please give a thumbs up and um, subscribe if you like the channel. And uh, see you guys around. Thanks. Bye.